the saw will detect that. And then it stops the blade so quickly that typically you just get a little nick, a band-aid type nick, instead of a serious accident where you're having to drive to the hospital. Um, the way it works, just briefly, and then we'll, we'll show you, is uh, this is this is kind of the brains of the saw. This is what makes it all happen. We call this our brake cartridge. And it uh, just mounts in the saw right back there, just on a pin like that. And the blade spins right by this curve. Inside this cartridge uh, right there is a little computer. And the way it can tell when you touch the blade, the computer puts an electric signal on the blade. A little three volt, 500 kilohertz signal. And it watches that all the time, all the time. When you cut wood, or anything non-conductive, plastic, corian, wood, you know, anything non-conductive, nothing happens to the electric signal on the blade. And so, just go about your business. But when you touch the blade, and you don't have to stand on anything, you don't have to be hooked up to anything, you just have to touch the blade, but you do have to touch it. When you touch it, your body will absorb some of that electric signal, because the human body conducts electricity and stores electric charge. An example of storing charge is when you get a shock from walking across the carpet. You know, at your body, storing charge. So that's how the computer tells the difference between wood and a person touching the blade. 